How often do you check your breasts? This may seem like a strange question, but it is important to check regularly and if necessary, to take action. It could save your life. Statistics show between 85 to 87 percent of women discover their lumps themselves. But what are you really looking for when you do check? People always say to me, I don't understand this breast self-examination because my breasts are lumpy and I don't know what I'm looking for. I'll accept that because every woman's breast is lumpy. Those lumps can be fat, it could be from the glands, and that's quite norm. But what are we looking for? Whatever is in one breast, it's always been the other breast. If something is up here, in this little spot, make sure it's here. And only you can find that. If the more knowledgeable you are with your breast, the easier it is for you to be able to pick up something new. I didn't feel this two months ago, but something there. And once you find something there and you're convinced it's not on the other side, I'm saying to all women out there, make sure you know what it is. Don't let any doctor, any physician, nurse, or anybody say to you, it's nothing. Because they cannot know it's nothing. It has to be tested. Once there's a palpable mass, the onus is on you to make sure that you know what it is. Breast self-examination should start as early as a teenager. Start from 14, 15, get to know your breast. Because you know, we had an 18-year-old that died too, that was diagnosed here, and she died within a year. Um, and that's one of the folly, people think that you're too young. Granted, I would have been shocked at an 18-year-old, you know, but to doctor for a while before anybody decided that you should check this thing out and found it to be cancer and she died. Um, we're finding women with breast cancer at early ages. Now the statistics we have for 2009 are very good statistics and we have seven people below the age of 35 and um, between 35 and 45, there were 17. And between 45 and 65, there were 70. Now, breast cancer should not be considered a postmenopausal or elderly woman disease anymore. Another stage of testing is mammography screening. This testing usually begins around the age of 40 as a preventative measure. And I know you may think it's painful, but advances in technology are ensuring that the procedure is now more patient friendly. It shouldn't be painful. It's not really a painful thing. First of all, we suggest you do it after your period, not when, you, when your period is due, because breasts are always a little uncomfortable. So if you do it then, it will be more uncomfortable. That's one. And two, the old analog, or the old analog machine, the Breast leaves are of a material that is harder. And so the little compression on the breast can be a little more uncomfortable. With the new direct digital, the material used for that comes in contact with the breast is a lot more pliable and is softer. So the discomfort should be less. Two, a very important point is that the time for the mammogram oops, finished and you never have to go back a second time because the radiographer doing it is able to see there and then she doesn't have to develop the film and then bring you back she sees there and then that everything is fine and then the film comes up I mean the image comes up right away on the monitor so she can see that she's got everything there breast health is important for both women and men so be sure to examine your breasts regularly. If you do find something that's a cause for concern, be sure to make an appointment with your doctor or at the Barbados Cancer Society. For more information on self-examinations, contact 436-5606 or 5446. Or you can visit www.barbadoscancersociety.com. With early detection, we can win the battle against breast cancer.